in the uh, in the pursuit for um, having coffee beneficial for health, it just turns out it's, it's, it tastes pretty good, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, we're lucky that coffee is more like to, uh, eating an organic strawberry that just tastes fantastic okay. rather than wheatgrass. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it, it happens to be when you get a high quality organic coffee that's roasted in the right way and is fresh, it's a fantastic tasting coffee. Although we didn't intend that to be our primary driver. This was really an experiment to see what would happen if every decision was made on based on health. Okay, and we met at an integrative health conference. Yep. And so, you know, obviously that's, that's where you are, not some other places. Yeah. And um, the discussion behind Purity Coffee has kind of exploded really in the last couple of months, really amongst my peers as well. Yeah. And looking at, uh, and we, we always have a distrust when it comes to coffee in my, in my profession. Yeah. Um, just because we don't know what our patients are getting. And so, you know, when we put them through certain uh, diets or certain protocols, we're so, they also said, do I have to get rid of my coffee? Mm -hmm. And up until recently, I was very hesitant to say, no, you can continue it. But, you know, now we're, we're more like, okay, well, grab some purity on the way out right. <laughs> of the office. You can have that one. And uh, they actually taste in the office and, and they, they love it. Fantastic. Uh, the I remember the first day that we put purity cow in the office for free and people started tasting it. Um, they were in the waiting room, okay? Mm -hmm. And when they got there, they didn't feel so great. And then when they got to the office, like, that coffee was good and I feel a whole lot better. <laughs> wow, that's great. <laughs> and I think what happened during that time is, is these antioxidants, the polyphenols and all these great things in the coffee allowed some neurotransmitter magic to happen where they're activating that serotonin and they come in just much happier and they just relax and they're crossing the legs, just sipping on the coffee and we're discussing their health. Yeah. And so that's that's now like a norm in my office, uh, which is great. But it's not something I would expect for people to drink coffee and have that sort of, hey, nice, relaxed atmosphere. Yeah. Because you hear, you know, you drink coffee, you get like real jittery and stuff like that, right? So speaking of jittery, do you get jittery when you drink coffee or is that a thing? Not at all. And I think that's that's the, 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 the biggest feedback that we've got from our customers and, you know, 1,500 five-star testimonials in just the last few months. Mm -hmm all talk about the fact that not only do they like the taste of the coffee, but they feel differently because of it. And that's the number one positive feedback we get is, you know, no jitters, no acid reflux, no stomach problems with it. People who couldn't normally drink coffee previously now can drink Purity. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's really as a result of one of these bad things or a combination of these bad things that are in coffee that, um, you know, that, that cause that negative effect. Wow, so that's interesting. So, so I guess we're not supposed to feel jittery. We're not supposed to have this coffee headache, right? Yeah. And uh, and we may not even supposed to have acid reflux when I drink coffee because coffee did used to give me acid reflux. I don't have okay. it with with purity. And so and so you know, speaking of acid reflux, a, lot, a big portion of acid reflux is that if there's environmental toxins or mold toxins that's contained within coffee, it causes a major inflammation that happens. And when that happens, you're, you're at the pylorus of the stomach, which is the, the part of the stomach uh, towards the end of the stomach and squeezes and actually does cause acid reflux mm -hmm. back because it doesn't want you to keep going. And so I do think that's a mechanism that's, uh, that's behind that. And not only that, um, it doesn't take a whole lot of digestive enzymes to digest something that's natural and doesn't have a whole lot of, uh, a lot of toxins with it as well. Right. So that's, that's my theory. I don't really know if it's true, but it's, this definitely makes sense from a physiologic standpoint. 